The world is described by two sets of laws. In our everyday world, the classical world, Newton's laws of motion, gravity, um, electromagnetics, the gas laws, very well describe what things do. But at the small scale, below a certain cutoff, and we don't really know where that cutoff is, but let's say atoms, for example, different sets of laws apply. An atom or an electron can be in two or more places at the same time actually separated from itself. That's, uh, quantum particles can also um, be entangled. That is, they can be unified and then go their separate ways and still communicate non-locally and instantaneously. And they can also condense into some unitary form. It's superposition that allows quantum computing. In regular computers, we have information represented as bits, one or zero, on or off. Quantum computers use quantum bits in which the information can be both one and zero, on and off at the same time. Now these quantum bits or qubits communicate with other qubits by this non-locality, this entanglement, and do very efficient computing. And stay in this funny quantum superposition state until they reach the, the barrier between the quantum world and the classical world and then they reduce or collapse to one or the other. So all the ones and zeros become either one or zero, and that's the solution or the answer to the quantum computation.